What's going on guys, it is Joe here and welcome to a brand new trading method, well you could sort of call it a method, I'm not really sure, but I'm just going to go through it, and this is the method that will make you the most coins, pretty much guaranteed, it is the best, well I don't know if there's best method, but potentially it can make you by far the most coins, and I'm going to run through it now, so it is sort of price fixing or price bumping, whatever you want to call it. Now, all you need to do, as I've got an example here, and it basically is where you pretty much buy every card off the market, and when you own every card on the market, or there are no cards on the market, you pretty much essentially own the price. Um, and especially, it works very well at this stage, considering people aren't really opening packs, so new players aren't coming onto the market of the same value, so no one's putting them up really cheap, that's just going to ruin it for you. So I do have an example here, and what you want to pick is you want to pick a player that doesn't have too high card weight, and um, also in quite high demand. So this um, Daniel Powell is actually a right mid for Milton Keynes Dons. Obviously 91 pace, very, very pacey player, and he's English bronze. So he's going to be in high demand just because he's a really good player. And there are only about 10 of him in the market. Now, what you're going to do, just going to like sort of say as an example what I would do. I would leave maybe this 2k one. In fact, no. I'd buy that 2k one. I'm actually thinking of bidding on that 1.7 one, one, actually, while we're at it. Um, I'm just going to check. This hasn't actually been price fixed previously. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to make a qu couple of coins quickly there. Anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to, um, what, just for this example, you would buy that one. I'd probably leave this one to go if you don't have that many money, much money, because that one would just expire and it wouldn't matter and it wouldn't be on the market anymore. You'd buy that one for 2 free. Uh, maybe that one for 2.5, that one for 2.5, that one for 2.5, and then you leave the rest. Now that would mean no cards are below 3.5. You could list every card you've bought for 3,400 and they would essentially be the cheapest on the market. And the chances are they will go on to sell for that much. Therefore, you're making a very, very nice profit indeed. So you need to do it with the right player. They have to be um, in high demand and they have to be good. And there can't be too many on the market, otherwise they're just going to get overrun and all that bad stuff so this is pretty much how you can do it i'm going to show you another example that may be a little bit easier for you guys with not as many coins it may not be as quick and profitable but it will definitely work so for example go to barclays premier league kits so this might surprise you go for spurs we'll just click on spurs and you'll search and you'll see there's only one page now you can buy there's one two three spurs four five five home kits for spurs one for 2,200, which I actually might buy. Then the rest are all at least 2,900. So um, you buy every single Spurs kit on the market. Now, no one's really opening gold packs at the moment. No one is because they just don't have the coins. It'll be a complete waste because players aren't worth as much as they will when the game is actually released. And people can only open them with coins because they can't buy FIFA points. So... Pretty much no new Spurs kits are going to become in the market. They're just going to be relisted or maybe one or two every day or so. So you could buy every single Spurs kit. You could list them all up for maybe 4K. Maybe leave that one. You know, you can leave that one and then list them all up for 3,500. And you know, the chances are they're going to kill. They're going to sell because if Spurs fan really wants a Spurs kit, he's going to pay for that Spurs kit. Now, Spurs maybe wasn't the best market um, example because there's quite a big gap. Um, between like a couple of them and you no, know, you know, it's not just not ideal. So maybe I'll try Newcastle, you know, we'll just um, show you quickly just so you guys have a good perspective of how it works. Now, Newcastle, Newcastle, they have a fair amount of um, fans. The kit is quite nice, in my opinion. And there's two home kits there for relatively the same price. I'd leave that one personally. And then there's that one for 1200 I don't know if this has actually been price picked already. No, it hasn't. And that's all it is. So free home kits on the market. You could buy the lot, put them up for 2,000 and happy days. You can make a nice quick amount of coins. So that's pretty much the method. Um, it's risky. It's very risky. But if done well and done correctly, then it can potentially make you a lot, a lot of coins, especially in this stage. Feel free to do it with a friend or a couple friends. It works best that way because... Firstly, it doesn't look like it's being price fixed, and that sometimes puts people off. And secondly, it just means you guys are going to have more coins combined together. Anyway, so that's pretty much the end of this method. I hope you did enjoy it. Another quick tip I haven't actually mentioned is, if you're doing it with a player, it's a good idea to maybe spend a day or so just picking up the player on a bid. So trying to pick up a few cheap ones, so that essentially you're going to make more profit on those ones when you do put them up, and then you clear the market, if you get what I mean. 
anyway, so that's pretty much the end. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.